was just some pocket lifts. So this, this is why I spent all that money on the mule gear. Yeah. Just to hang the lights off. This needs to make me a roof rack. <laughs> what does you need to make you? I like that one for some reason. I don't know why, it's absolutely no use as a camp light, but it looks Gucci, doesn't it? It's cool. Oh, chair friend. <laughs> it's the only chair that's put in So basically, two options with this. Uh, you can either put the fire straight in there, cook straight on top with your grill, or you've actually, with these kits, you can put a gas bottle on here. It's got a little regulator on. You've got a heat shield, and that goes just underneath. And yeah, you can uh, just put your grill back on. As well as that, I bought, wherever it is, oh, that's supposed to be the bottom of it. I bought a hot plate to go on here, so you can use it as one giant, uh, Pan. There we go. That's just, all that does, that piece, it just I think it just keeps the heat off the bottom to stop yeah. it from warping. It, it lets it all yeah. It lets air come underneath it as well. It's awesome, awesome. How they make it's one of them things, it's not the cheapest thing in the world, but how the laser cut that out out of stainless for the money. It's how um, much is it? I don't want to quote on it, but I think last time I looked. I can't remember if it's 120 or 140, but that's the table, the cooker, the grill, the gas bit, and then you get some tongs and things like that with it. Yeah, I like the Ridge Monkey stuff. I've, it's one of, it's, it's not the highest end, it's not the lowest end, it's not the toughest, it's not the weakest, it just fits the sweet spot, doesn't it? Yeah. And it's, it's compact and everything's square and packs and... You don't want the highest end stuff, but swanning off into the woods and getting battered. Well, the highest end stuff also weighs a ton. Yeah, it does. I'll show you that thing that I've got in there. That's that's heavy. Mm. If you uh, get that head on earth in it and tag them in it, they've got a massive um, YouTube following as well. They randomly started following me the other day because I was wearing one of their hats. What is it? Head on earth, urban exploration. Just a bunch of lads being a bit leery and exploring. Fair they did some really cool video where they converted three different vehicles to a camper van and drove them up. I them. saw that, yeah, they're really good. Yeah, that's them. Nice.
beauty of this, oh my bedding's already in it. in the back of my van all day and it's I put my hand in and it's toasty warm. Be a weird angle for this. Not cheap them slags, are they? Yes and no. So, the way I look at it, is it's an entire sleep system. Yeah, I suppose. Because it's got the mattress in, it's got the tentage in, it's, it is one big system. So, to say it's canvas rather than some little crappy ripstop go outdoors thing, I think they do it cheap. Would you rather have that than the roof tent? Oh yeah. It's not even a comparison. Really? Yeah. Yeah, you wait till this is set up and then uh, have a lay in it, it's like a cocoon. Yeah. And you're not on the roof, you're not rocking about, you're not, I, I don't know, it just seems, a roof tent is just point to point to point and making do, whereas this is a nice place to be. Because I quite like to go away in the classic and go like to Wales for a weekend in the classic but it's finding somewhere to sleep yeah or yeah. even in the, even in the stag to a campsite because that probably fit in the back seat of the stag I mean bear in mind as well this is the large one so this is like a double bed yeah but then, so you can get much smaller ones it's just I enjoy being in it and enjoy sleeping in it so yeah, I want the big one no I'd go with the big one I mean but this has got a double sleeping bag and a single sleeping bag in this all right rolled up in in, in its bag which it looks massive but like I say if you've got a sleeping bag and a tent and a mattress and all your stuff all rolled up I bet it's not that much smaller than this no it wouldn't be why can I smell sausages? balls that's a dad joke isn't it? an old dad joke as well that's an yeah. old only the people uh, in the late 30s onwards will uh, get that one And as well as that, this is actually sat in my back garden for the last month. Really? Yeah, outside. Not undone, but in its bag. Yeah, yeah, but in its bag, yeah. I didn't realise it had been relegated to outside. It's quite quick to put up, I suppose. It's not bad at all. I mean, I could probably do it a bit quicker if I was actually paying attention. But, but that now, you, if it was raining, you're not getting... You're sleeping bag out in the open. No, you're not. It's all in there. It's quite clever, actually. I've never seen one properly before. I've seen people using them. But... It's not to everyone's taste, and I get that. But I enjoy it. Is it comfy enough on the floor? Yeah. And if you're a larger boat like us, you can just buy another mattress and double up. Right. Because he sells the mattresses ind independently. And it's actually got a little tent pole so you can have the awning out and the fly sheet. Nice. And I like waking up in the woods and just looking across the woods. It's not for everyone, but I, I don't know. That, and in summer, it's not red hot because it's thick enough that it keeps yeah. the sun off you. And it's never light in the morning. You know what? That's actually really nice. It's like a little cocoon. Yeah. That's like a that's, nest. That's the best way I can describe it. Student like it because he feels claustrophobic. No, I, I don't like mind it. that. Yeah, I quite like that. And like I say, if you put the fly net down, but keep the other bit open, yeah. it's cool as fuck. Yeah. Sorry. You can only plug your Mac in if it's an apple tree. So we've had that on all night on that rope light and it's charging your laptop now we're on that 80%.
And the laptop's dead. It's only using 52 watts, and if you see on the screen, it's saying we've got eight hours runtime at its current usage. I do like the runtime feature. Smart, that, isn't it? But the screen's been on the entire time, hasn't it? What's the power bank on? How do you... Uh, uh, the big round button in the middle. Just tap it. 72%. 72%, so it's 82% charge your laptop, and it's run them lights all night. Yeah. And we're now on, what, midnight? And it's still at 72%. It's not bad, that. Let's cook something in the morning. Yeah. Good morning. Right, so I think I've woken up with a bit of a cold to bear with the uh, croaky voice and the snotty nose. Um, I blame uh, Peace Pork Scratchings that he gave me last night. I think that's 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 what did it. I mean... It's not a euphemism. <laughs> so, what we're going to do this morning, we're going to get away soon, so we're not going to light the fire to cook on it. We're also not going to cook in the vehicles. So, what we're going to do, we're going to do some electric cooking. Not the best night's sleep with the wind and everything, but it's a night out. Anyway. So what we've got here, we've got the small uh, George Foreman and we've got the EcoFlow. So what we're going to do, I've proved that this works with the larger power banks, which it's a given. So we're going to try it on the smaller new one because they've got the X-Boost feature, which it gives it that initial uh, surge. So. It's got two chances, hasn't it? I like the uh, the rumble. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's it's scientific. Science. Science, bitches. Right, so straight away, we're going up to 521 watts. So it reckons we have got 66% left on this battery after running it all night last night with all the uh, camp lights. Um, Pete's charged his laptop up, I've charged my phone up and my GoPro up, so yeah, let's see. So that literally took a minute or two. Mate, this bacon is proper. Oh, it's decent bacon. If we're cheating, we'd use Tesco's bacon because it'd be cooked in 10 seconds. It'd evaporate. <laughs> we're going to have to do two at a time, they're that big. So this is the beauty of it. So now that this is up to temperature, obviously the heating element's kicked off. So this is now showing that that's using zero watts. So it does get a little longer than what you'd think out of it. And as that kicks in and out, it's gonna use some, it's gonna stop, it's gonna use some, it's gonna stop. It's not an efficient way of cooking. However, it is a very, very quick, lazy option. And it is a very good demonstration because there's nothing that uses power like electric heating. So if this was cheap bacon, we'd have probably done a full pack by now, but he's pretty much bought a gammon. <laughs> so yeah, as Pete was saying with this, 
although this is using quite a lot of battery, if you're on the go and you're traveling in a vehicle, once you get in the vehicle and you, you move off again, you plug this into your 12 volt socket and boom, it's charging again. So it's by the time you get to your next park up, your next stop, something like that, you, you're good to go for whatever you want, whether you want your lighting or cooking again. Oh yeah, it's, uh, it's having some of that. 500 watts. The other thing with this is on a sunny day, which definitely isn't today, you could have uh, 200 watts of solar going into this. How long oh, do you like yours doing? That'll do for me, mate. Do you want to... I'm not finger banging your food then. Right, so that was, we're on 40% now, so that's that's used around 15% of the battery. Um, like I say, we could have done twice as much if it was thin bacon, so it, it shows that you can cook a meal on this. So I'm going to sort myself out now. That's what she said. <laughs> it's been in a hot place. So there we go, breakfast for two blokes, um, and it's used. We're down to 11% now, and it's still charging my phone. So it's around 50%, which is a lot, a lot of energy. Um, I mean, I did get one of the larger items. So yeah, you can do it. You can get the thing back in the vehicle, get it on charge, you're away. As you can see here, we've got 11% left. This will do 99 hours still on 11% of charging my phone up. Uh, it's using 10 watts, which is nothing. We just need some sunshine so it can get charged back up. Ready for this. Mm. I really am missing bread. But I'm losing a pound a day. He's spoiling me, That's, uh, he's got his coffee machine on the go there, look. This is glamping. But we definitely need to paint the, uh, the vehicles green so it's tactical glamping. So yeah, that's breakfast done, so I think we're gonna break camp now. Uh, I can't think of any other kit to show you. I like, I like, I like to show you as much as possible because when I got into this, you kind of, you spend your money and you get something as best as what you know. And then you see someone else in the camp and you go, crap, I wish I'd seen that before because I'd have got that one. So yeah, swag performed well, uh, can't fault that. Power bank's done well. George Foreman's done well. Thank you, George. Little uh, Ridge Monkey fire pit. Excellent as always, with that going for all night, no warping, no bending or anything. I kind of want to get that piping hot just to see if it does warp, but then at the same time I don't want to break it. So yeah, I think that's about it for now. So it's going to be uh, pack up, get back, and then on with next week's video, which will be uh, panelling out the, uh, the vehicle. And with any luck, is my kitchen going to turn up from Eva Motion on time? Nope. <laughs> Don't be so cynical. Oh, 
This has got the bedding in and everything. smaller than this but it's well it, it fits the bag perfectly at this. Yeah. I do like that. That's why I don't like coming to pick something. End up spending money that ain't got. But like that, realistically, if you do the ratchet strap that way and that way, you get it down way smaller. Oh yeah you pack it right down small but you've got to go in the boot of the range right with a piece of this. Right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Stay safe.